So open code is basically an AI agent. I feel like I don't even know what an AI agent is anymore. Like I the term is so ago. overloaded. Yeah. Could you tell me like I, yeah. there's so much hype about it and I see very different <laughs> definitions of what it is. I mean, I, I made so many jokes about this a while ago where I'm like, we just added a new word for no reason, but okay. I'll be a little fair. Like I see the, the reason for, for the term when you're using an LLM and you're just prompting it and getting a response, that's like one way of using it. When you're giving it a goal and giving it access to tools and it's just going to keep running until it achieves that goal. That's like a kind of different way of using it. And that's what people categorize as, okay, this is an agent. By the end of the day, it's just an LLM that has access to some tools. Like I can edit a file or I can read a file or I can like look up something on the internet and it's just going to decide to keep, it's going to think, it's going to think about what tool to call. It's going to call tools. Then it's going to use that result as a new input. It's going to think again, it's going to call a tool to use result as a new input. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep repeating that until it decides the task is complete or like, you know, I don't know how to solve this. And then you get the response back. So that's why people say like agentic workflows or whatever. It's kind of what they're talking about. And obviously in coding, this has been pretty big with Claude code. Pretty much every like cursor has added this type of workflow. There's like a million options for you now. 